Hey, OMG Pixie Sticks here. I'm making a video tutorial because I noticed some people are having problems with Cheat Engine 5.5. Now, they give you a tutorial, but even I was confused with it at first, so I'm making more of a visual tutorial. Now, first, what you want to do is you need to select the process which you want to hack. So, click on the computer icon and then scroll down because the process you want to hack is probably a recent process, and in this case, it's tutorial.exe. And then click next. Now, this you know your value. It's 100. This is the main point of hacking games. So what you want to do is you know the value is 100. So take that and scan for it. 61 values. But you want to make sure you have the right one. So when you get hit, your health decreases. Now it's at 99. The value changes. Your health changes. The value on this changes. So we have the value. Now we want to increase our health to 1000 and then move on. Now here's something that kind of gets on all of our nerves. When you have a bar and they don't actually give you your health, it can get really annoying. But what you want to do is go to unknown initial value because obviously there's no numbers. Scan for it and you get tons of processes. But what you want to do is you want to get hit, and then it decreases. So you want to go to decrease value, scan again, a lot less. Get hit again. And just keep doing this until you get very few values, and then you want to take the one that kind of makes sense. So for this one, since we're getting hit by like sevens and tens, it's not going to be incredibly high. So let's get hit one last time. It's probably going to be this one, because it's not incredibly high and unreasonable. Like seriously, if you had like 317 million health, you probably wouldn't need to change that. So we change this value to 5,000, which would increase our health to 5,000 and then move on. Now, this is where it kind of gets tricky. If you have like a decimal point or anything, it's either going to be a float or a double. So we know the exact value, but the bytes change. It's not going to be like a simple four byte or eight byte. It's going to be a float for health. But at least we know the value, which is 100. So we scan for it, get hit, Scan for it again. Oops. Now, occasionally you make a mistake, which in this case you would have to just do undo scan and click yes. Now, next scan, one value. This one needs to be changed to 5000. And then this one's taken care of. Now, here's another thing it's if it's a double value, it will have either a lot of decimal points or a fraction like it. So, you know the values are 100. And for some reason, it's not giving me a lot of values. So, get hit. No, it's this. Now, here's the next thing. I've been trying to make this tutorial for a while. So, I think I froze one of the values one time and that kind of messes with the program. So it's probably going to give me an error after this. But I'll try and go for as long as I can. Now, this is pretty much all you need to get through basic hacking. If I need more ad if I need to explain mo the more advanced methods, or if anyone requests, I might make another tutorial. So I'll keep you posted on that one. So OMG Pixie Sticks out.